In this video, we're going to talk about the building block of a neural network, which is a neuron. We're going to visualize what each neuron does in a neural network and what they are actually made of. So let's get started. To understand a neuron, we first have to understand linear classifier. If we were, for example, trying to classify apples and oranges based on their color and their size, what a linear classifier would do is simply draw a line on this plane, separating each label based on which side of the line it is on. So basically everything above this line would be an orange and everything below this line would be an apple. This is what a simple classify, linear classifier would do, but this is also what a neuron does. So if you build a neural network that has exactly one neuron, it will do exactly what a linear classifier would do on this plane. So why do we use neural network if they are just simple linear classifier? Well, a simple linear classifier will not solve a problem that looks like this. So in this case, if you just draw a line in the middle, all your classifications will be incorrect because you have both labels on both sides. However, if you were to draw multiple lines, so if you were to use a line over here and a line over here, say everything on this side is blue, everything on this side is blue, everything on the other side is orange, we've got a half decent classifier already if we were to use another two lines over here, something that looks like this, we will be able to classify the blue clusters correctly and the orange clusters correctly. So if we had the power to mix four linear classifiers together, we will be able to solve this problem perfectly. However, a linear classifier would actually stretch all over this plane and that will kind of ruin our classification because we've got the wrong label on the side. And that's where activation function kicks in. The activation function's main job is to focus the line exactly on the area that we need it. It makes sure that it does not stretch all over here, making a misclassification. So let's visualize what happens inside a neural network when we are working with this data set, four clusters, and we said that we can actually solve it with four uh, linear classifiers, and that translates into four neurons on the inside we're going to have two inputs x1 x2 the same thing as we had for the size and the color and we're going to have one output neuron which will give us the classification so when we hit this play button the neural network will be trained for us and we will be able to see what's going on inside each neuron and what does it contribute to the neural network now you can see that each neuron has done its job being a linear classifier. Each one of them has drawn a line over here. It has applied a weight to each one of those inputs because each uh, linear classifier will have an equation of this shape, weight times the feature, another weight times the feature, and a constant, and that will be turned into a line over this data plane. The activation function is making sure that our lines do not stretch too much, ruining our classification. If we focus on one neuron, you will see that it's the whole line. However, in this output neuron, you can see it visualized as being a portion of the original line that was over here in this neuron, which is pretty awesome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a neural network is. It's simply a set of linear classifiers that we put together, giving us a lot of powers to do many kind of, of jobs from computer vision to classifying everything that you would like to classify. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.